Hello everybody, it's Wendy and today I have for you um, a showcase of the new items that are available on my website. So I have a lot of requests to, <laughs> to do these videos and I do like to do them because it does give me the opportunity to show you the beauty of a lot of the things um, that I can't really capture in pictures. So that's why I do this and so we'll just jump right into it. It's not going to be a long video but I do have several new things. So first off I have these sapphire light sapphire bicones. They're AB and they're four millimeter. And these are absolutely beautiful. So sparkly. Look at that. So pretty. So I got those. Um, I tried to get some different uh, sizes of bicone. So you'll see those here in a minute. These are green AB. And they're very pretty as well. Just a lot, a lot of sparkle in these bicones. So pretty. And these are a light amethyst AB. Look at that. Just beautiful. And this one I love. This is a fuchsia, like hot pink AB. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty. And this one's funny. It's got one little black bicone right in the middle, a hematite one. <laughs> so, but I thought these were just absolutely beautiful and different. They're not something that you see everywhere. So that's why I grabbed those. Um, okay, let's see. I have some aquamarine AB. Look how pretty. Just gorgeous. And this is a light sapphire. Actually, that was sapphire, I guess. Yeah, this is light sapphire AB. So they're just so pretty. And AB stands for Aurora Borealis. If you're not familiar with that, that is just a term for the coating that's on these that makes them really sparkly. Okay, now these are six millimeter. And this is what I was actually hunting for, but I picked up those colors in the four millimeter just because I thought they were pretty. But um, I definitely love having a variety of sizes in bicones. So these are six millimeter and they're like a light champagne, AB, and just look at them. They're so beautiful. So there's those. And then I got them in light sapphire, six millimeter. Light sapphire, AB, I believe they are. Um, these are clear AB. Oh, they're so pretty. Six millimeter again. And I have a light pink AB, six millimeter. And these I love. They're like a, almost kind of like a lime green. And again, they're six millimeter. Oh, they're pretty. They're not really fern green they're more like a lime they're pretty and then I got um, in four millimeter some black hematite these are really pretty and sparkly as well and then I restocked I was out of stock on these um, half frosted little barrel beads um, I restocked this light gray color I think these are really pretty too I love this electroplated line in the middle so restocked those and then got some new rondelles these are um eight by sixes i believe i'll check they'll be in the description on the website but they're a beautiful really pretty light blue with purple and gold plating so i really like these i thought they were so unique and so pretty okay so that's it for the beads so that's all new up on the website and then i've done some lucite flower painting so this is a really pretty um tangerine color and again, I love these. I think they are so pretty. They turn out looking like stained glass, um, but they're very pretty. So this is like the tangerine. I just did some um, solid colors in some of these because I didn't have any solid colors. So there's tangerine. And then this is like a teal. This is really pretty. This teal color. So there they are. Really like those. That's one of my favorite colors. Uh, yellow. These are really pretty and happy. Such a happy color. So these are the 22 millimeter. So where's my penny? Um, it's up here in my light box. I was using it for pictures. Let's see if I can grab it. Here we go. So they are about that big. These are the ones I use in the um, earrings that I do. The Lucite Flower earrings. There's tutorial for those if you're interested in that. Those are a really pretty yellow and then lime green. I like these really well. But they were so pretty. They look really pretty with these bicones. That would make a really cute flower earring. There's the lime green. 
And then I have a couple of mixed colors. So I did purple and teal. This is a purple kind of like a, whoop. It's got a couple different shades of purple in it and the teal. I thought these turned out really nice. There they are. And I have a pink and light pink. So I had some requests for pink, not hot pink, but regular pink. So this is pink with some like light pink variation in it. If you can see, it's not just a flat tone. It's got some a little bit, almost like a light purple, but they're really pretty. So there's those. Okay, now I got some really cute metal components. So I absolutely love this. This is a cowboy boot charm. I think it is adorable. It has a place for a rhinestone here. And I have actually glued a rhinestone in it just so you can see what it looks like with the rhinestone. So it's really cute. You could do any color you wanted. I'm going to have these up on my website. I don't have a ton of them, but they're double-sided. So you would you could glue a rhinestone on either side. What cute little earrings they would make. And they're double-sided so you could mirror them. So I thought these were adorable. Love them. And there's the there it is by the penny. So you can see the size. And then I got these little owl charms. And these are so cute too. Look at him. Isn't he adorable? Now, he's not double-sided, but he does have places in his eyes for rhinestones, and I just put clear rhinestones in here, which he would look a lot cuter with colors, but I couldn't find my colors in this tiny size right now. I've got them somewhere, but we've had to clean up our, uh, I've had to try to clean up my bead room and put some stuff away because we're showing our house, getting ready to show our house, and um, so yeah, I've kind of lost some of my stuff. It's put away somewhere. Okay, so there's that, and then this butterfly chandelier. So it's got the three loops on the bottom, one on the top here, and it has a place for several rhinestones. So I stoned it up just so you could see what it looks like with the rhinestones in it. It's very pretty, and it's not double-sided either. Whoops. There it is next to the penny. And then I love this little charm. This is a little dog. It's like a um, dachshund or something, a little wiener dog. I thought he was just adorable, and he's not double-sided either, but um, look how cute he is for a little pair of earrings. Yeah, adorable. And then, because, you know, we've got the dog lovers, and then we've got the cat lovers, so I got a cat. Where did my other cat go? I had a cat with no rhinestones laying here, but I don't see him now, so here's the cat that I've added the rhinestones to. Cat's not double-sided either, but they're really, really cute. It's like a Siamese cat adorable. So there, there it is next to the penny. Um, let me see here. I got some little links. These are teeny tiny and they are really cute. They could be a chandelier finding. You could hook an ear wire here and chandelier, uh, you know, dangles here. It could be a link. It could be a bracelet reducer, three strand down to one. Uh, there's all kinds of things you could do with this. A necklace reducer, three strands down to one. So there that is, but it is tiny, so, you know, be aware of that. Look at it next to the penny. It's not real big, but it's very cute. And then I have some bead frames up there, but I got these bead frames. I thought these were really pretty. I like using bead frames and earrings. So here's a bead frame, and this is a 10 millimeter bead. So you can fit up to a 10 millimeter bead in here. If you would do like a smaller bead, like an 8 or a 6, you could put some um, bead caps on or some uh, seed beads too. So, but I think these bead frames are really cute. They are double-sided. They make your rings look really pretty. So the bead frames, these are little cord ends. I bought these thinking they were Coriana chain ends that you could crimp, but I don't think they are. I haven't tried them yet. I guess maybe they could be. Yeah, they, they will crimp, but I don't think they would look very good like that. <laughs> I think they're mainly supposed to be cord ends. So, yeah. Um, so, they're glue-in cord ends for, like, leather. Yeah, I don't think that would work too good for the cord on the chain. But I do have these up there if you work with leather or cord. These would be really good to glue on for little endings. Um, okay, these I did not realize were so tiny. Can you even see it? It is the tiniest little crimp bead cover. <laughs> so it's actually a side um, entry crimp bead cover. So if you um, are finishing off chain, I 
can't even hold it. It's so tiny. Let me get it with my pliers. Yeah, if you're finishing off chain, <laughs> so you would have your crimp bead, you would slide this on from the side and close it up. And it's got two closed loops. It's rose gold. It's really pretty, but it is teeny tiny. So just be aware. Look at it next to the penny. <laughs> it's like really small. You would have to use like a one millimeter or two millimeter crimp bead in there, probably. But, I mean, it would cover it, and it would be a very tiny um, ending, so it would look really good, probably. But I've got a bunch of those up on the site, too. I didn't realize they were so small. Somehow I missed that fact when I bought them. Um, and then I have these key charms. So these are really cute. They're double-sided. And there they are next to the penny. They're in an antique bronze. Uh, these are filigree bead caps. I have these in gold and silver as well, gold and bright silver. These are copper, antique copper, and they're really pretty. I like these antique copper. They've been on back order for a while, so I was glad to finally get them. Um, I got some new toggles. So this is a really pretty toggle. Let me get the bar. So here it is. It's an antique copper. I love this. It's not double-sided. It is really pretty toggle. I love this color. And here it is. Well, it's laying there next to the penny. And I put a penny in all my pictures so you all can see the sizes when you get on the website because I've had before people buy things and not realize they were small or whatever. This is a um, teardrop link. It's faceted on one side and not faceted on the other. I have this in a smaller size already on the site. This is a little bit bigger size. There it is next to the penny. Oh, here's my cat without the rhinestones. <laughs> cat without the rhinestones, cat with the rhinestones. So, really, really cute. Um, and then I got another smaller toggle. So that would be this one. Let me grab the bar for it. So here it is. It's pretty. It is double-sided. So it's just got like a, a texture on it. It's really pretty, and it's tiny. I like tiny toggles. I'm not a huge fan of big, big toggles, but I'm like, there was a wing bead that fell out of that toggle bag. <laughs> it's hard to tell how that got in there. Okay, and then I have some rose gold spacer beads. Oops, I just dropped a bunch on the floor. I'll be digging for those here in a minute. I believe these are four millimeter, and they're just rose gold spacers. I have red copper spacers, gold, and silver. I didn't have any rose gold, so I wanted to get some, so there they are. And I'm dropping them literally everywhere. Um, these are some teeny weeny little crystals. These are the ones I have in this cat right here. So, whoops. They're all clear. They're not Swarovski or anything like that. But they are tiny. They are like a PP24 maybe. I don't know. They're really little. But they're in the cat right here. I'll have the size on the site. I just don't know off the top of my head. And they are here in the butterfly. And... They are uh, the eyes in the owl, which I don't think they look really good in the owl because he's silver, so they don't really show up. But I guess if you wanted something not flashy, that would be a good option. So I will have these little tiny, tiny guys. I'm going to lay them right here so you can see how little they are. There they are. So those will be up on the website. Um, I got some triangle open bezels, and I'm going to do a resin tutorial with these with some UV resin, and um, I'll show you how that works. But I have these on the site, and I have some teardrop ones, too. So that'll be fun. We'll do that here, hopefully, in the next few days. Um, things are just kind of busy right now because we're getting ready to sell our house. So we're trying to get it on the market and get it, you know, all that. And plus we're looking, so we're, we've got to buy and sell, so it's kind of crazy. Um, okay, these are oval jump rings, and I love oval jump rings because I feel like they're more secure. They don't come open as easy as regular jump rings, or things don't slip out of the little crack if you don't get them closed as well um, because they're oval. So I have a ton of these. I'm just putting them up on the website. Um, I believe these are probably like 6 millimeter or maybe 8. I'll have the size on there, but yeah, love oval jump rings. And then I got a bunch of head pins and eye pins. <laughs> so I was running out of head pins and eye pins. So I thought, hey, I might as well order a bunch for the site. So these are antique bronze. These are like two inch. There are pictures. I've taken pictures with them with the ruler. Um, so you'll be able to see that when you get on the website. But um, they're a good gauge. They're not like too thick. I'll have that all that information on there. But there's I got antique bronze. I got um, gold. 
Um, I got silver, bright silver here. I got antique copper. And I think that's all for the head pins. And then eye pins, I got gun metal. Um, antique bronze here. Uh, bright silver, red copper, right there. And last but not least, I got some tiny silver spacer beads. So I had bigger silver spacer beads up on the site. These are little, these are like two millimeter. Very, very cute. And before I drop them all over the floor, because I'll never find them if I do, put them back in that bag. So that is everything that's new up on the site right now. Um, you guys give it a look if you want to. And like I said, I just like to show everything because people, they really seem to enjoy that. Um, I'm working on some polymer clay stuff right now. Here is a, these are heart pendants and I'm getting ready to have, I'm going to have a sale eventually if I can get them all done. Um, you know, there's a lot of work to them. You have to resin both sides and you have to make them, then you have to bake them, then you have to resin the sides of that or the top and bottom and the sides and, but they're turning out really pretty, I think. So yeah, I will have these. I'm going to do a special sale like I did before with these probably. And then I've been working with some PBO paints and making little, um, these are so cool. Look at that. Making little, um, pendants with the PBO paints. So if you're not familiar with PBO paints, they're these paints that have this reaction together and make these like cell looking things. They're really cool. So yeah, I've had fun with those. <laughs> Look at that one. That's my favorite. But they turn out really cool and I've been making a bunch of these pendants. So I will have some of these um, probably with the polymer clay cell. I'll probably do all that together. And then I'm hoping in the next few days to get pictures of my jewelry that I don't have pictures of and get it up on the site because I have like a huge tray of jewelry that needs to go up on the website. But like I said, it's been kind of busy. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out the website if you want to. And um, yeah, I'm going to get off here. I've got a ton of stuff to get done. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.